What's up, dude? We're here to talk to them about pet insurance. All right, guys, today I figured, hey, why not? I keep getting asked about pet insurance. Let's do a video on pet insurance. Bruce Wayne is looking magnificent, as per usual. All right, big dude. I would have never suspected I'd get as many questions as I do on if you should get pet insurance for your Kane Corso. <laughs> he hates it when I do that. I just ruined his yawn. Is this how we're gonna do the video? I can use you as a headrest. Pet insurance can be very pricey for your Kane Corso or any large breed in general. Vet bills are obviously higher because they're bigger. So if the dog needs medicine, they're gonna need more than a Yorkie, so it's gonna cost more. Therefore, your pet insurance is gonna be higher. If your dog needs surgery, they need more anesthesia, surgery costs more. The larger the dog, you can expect to pay more for vet bills and more for pet insurance. It's gonna be up to you to weigh the cost of health insurance and vet bills and see if you're going to expect to pay more in insurance over the dog's life versus vet bills or vice versa, where then it would be worth getting pet insurance. So do I have pet insurance on my Connie Corso? The answer lays right below that button. You know, the one right down there. The one where you need to subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, ring my ding so you don't miss any of the newest videos on Connie Corsos or Bruce Wayne. Yes, I do carry pet insurance on my Connie Corso. I'm not doing this video to influence you to get pet insurance, to use who I use. I'm just putting out there my experience. That way you guys are a little bit more educated from an owner standpoint on if you want to get pet insurance on your Connie Corso or dog in general. That way you can take my experience as an owner where I didn't have pet insurance on my previous dogs, but I do on Bruce. And you can just take that information and use it in your research to figure out if it's right for you or not. First off, I want to let you know why I carry pet insurance. It stems back to my previous dog, Winston, who is an English Bulldog. As you guys know, English Bulldogs, Frank, you probably know what I'm talking about, have a ton, a ton of health issues. And I knew that getting one, but my wife really, really wanted one. And hey, they're sweet, they're cute. I love Bulldogs. And our meatball was no different. He had health issues from nine months old on. At nine months old, he developed seizures. You wanna speak into the mic up there? Is that what you're trying to do? At nine months, it started with seizures and that lasted his whole entire life. So he needed daily medication for his seizures. He was on two different medications. And then towards end of his life, around seven years old, he lived to nine, he got Cushing's disease. So he needed more medication on top of that. Now, pet insurance would have covered that. I did not have pet insurance for that. So it was close to $200 a month, probably 150, 200, just on medication. Think about that. That is a crazy high price just on medication. That's not talking about vet visits or anything like that. And unfortunately, I feel like I blame myself for the Cushing's disease. I feel it's because I neutered my English Bulldog. That's why he ended up developing Cushing's disease. Um, if you want my thoughts on neutering, go watch my Never Neuter a Kane Corso video. I'm almost positive if I had pet insurance on my English Bulldog, then I would have saved money in the long run. And on top of that, the stress of just getting hit with like crazy high vet bills, it was just, was just awful. Like you just go to the vet because all of a sudden your dog is sick and you get stuck with a thousand dollar bill. It's like, oh my God, this, and it's so stressful. Many of you guys, I know, you know exactly what I'm talking about right now. So from that point on, I said that I will always get pet insurance on my dog. For my Connie Corso, Bruce Wayne, we got pet insurance right away. I've seen far too many cases where people spent thousands and thousands of dollars because of sickness and injury. I know at least five people whose dogs had ACL tears and had to get that repaired. And I, out of those five, two of them had to get two done. Now in New York state, the average cost of an ACL repair is $5,000. Think about that. All of a sudden, boom, you're hit with a $5,000 bill to repair your dog's knee. And then it happens again. So now you just spent $10,000 fixing your dog's knees. That's a tough pill to swallow, guys. And it's just not like ACL repairs that are expensive. I, I know someone whose dog had a, I'm not sure the exact issue. It was like a urinary issue, but it came down to if it wasn't fixed, the dog would die. That was a $5,000 surgery. Surgeries on your animals are not cheap, especially when they're this big. They are expensive, which is just why I just, I just needed pet insurance when I got him. I'm like, I can't be worrying about this. I didn't want to come down to the decision on money. Can I afford to save my dog's life? I, I just couldn't do it. I didn't want to get put in that position where the vet's like, your dog has cancer and we all know how expensive that is for treatment for a dog. And yeah, it sometimes 
they get through it, sometimes they don't. So if you wanna to try to save your dog and they have cancer, for example, it's going to be a long, expensive road without pet insurance. Let's say your pet insurance costs $100 a month. That's $1,200 a year. Let's say the dog lives 10 years. That's $12,000 on pet insurance over the course of the dog's life. Think about those individuals I just talked about that had to do two ACL surgeries. So right there alone, they just dropped $10,000. And I'm sure in between those surgeries and the, over the life of the dog, They've had many other vet visits for other issues too that the insurance would pick up some. And again, I don't want money to come in the way of can I save my dog's life or not? And I know I'm gonna get hate comments for this and I'm not trying to bash anyone at all, so please don't take it that way. But what happens when your dog is sick and you can't afford it? A lot of the times people go to GoFundMe and they ask you to pay for your dog's surgery. I didn't get pet insurance on my dog because I didn't think it was worth it, but now they're asking you for money to save their dog or to have a surgery on their dog. And again, I'm not trying to bash anyone. I've donated to so many GoFundMes for dogs because I don't want to see someone's dog suffer and I don't want to see them suffer seeing their dog suffer. It's horrible when your dog's sick. I know how it feels. So I'm not trying to bash anyone who does GoFundMes, but I'm not gonna sit here and ask you guys to save Bruce Wayne's life. I wanna be responsible. I'm gonna do everything I possibly can to assure if that situation arises, he's covered, he's good, and I don't have to think about money. I don't have to think about this surgery to, that may save him or this procedure that may save him or may not is gonna cost me five, six, seven thousand dollars $7,000. I don't need to think about that. Yes, there's a deductible and they don't cover 100% depending on your plan. And we'll go over that, we'll go over my plan in a second. Like I said, do not be influenced by me getting pet insurance or who I choose. I'm just sharing my experience, that way you can take what I have to say and add it to your research. For our Connie Corso, I use Healthy Paws Pet Insurance. At the time, they had the best rates. They were rated number one from everything I looked. And again, it's, it's tough when you look at reviews and ratings. Nowadays, half the reviews and ratings seem fake. But we pay about $110 a month. It's a $250 deductible. They cover 80% and it's super easy. I literally just take a picture of the receipt and upload it to the app and that's it. They just mail me a check. The kicker though is three years ago when we got his health insurance, it started at $80. Every year it goes up. I wasn't really aware of this, that they will increase your rates yearly. If you are gonna get pet insurance, definitely ask them that when you talk to them. Ask them what their price hike is yearly. Um, that's definitely something you really wanna know. But other than that, the customer service has been great with Healthy Paws, and I don't really have anything negative to say about them other than the price hikes every single year. And actually, when I was just looking at some different insurance companies prior to this video, having my wife, Kara, call another company, Figo, F-I-G-O, if I recall, because their prices seemed better than Healthy Paws Pet Insurance. Their deductibles were the same. So I'm really gonna have her ask, especially now that we've had pet insurance for three years, I know a little bit more about it. I'm gonna have her ask the questions like, what's your price hike? Can you drop us for any reason? If so, what are the reasons why you can drop us? So I'm gonna have her go through, call them, you know, do a little bit of research and possibly switch over to them. And just so you know, pet insurance will be much cheaper if you get it right when you get your dog. Most pet insurance do not cover pre-existing conditions which is also a reason why you wanna get it right away. And if you're trying to insure an older dog, it's typically going to cost more compared to when they're a puppy. I've never insured an older dog. He's the first dog, as I said, and I will be getting pet insurance for most likely every other dog going forward. There's a lot of hawks out there. There's like three hawks swooping around. Even in the, what? There's one, two, three, four, five. Or are they vultures? I can't tell. They keep going over the roof. Bruce is looking at them. What is in my yard? They're hawks. There's like five hawks floating around in my yard. Bruce ain't liking them, I ain't liking them. Get out of here, hawks. I'm gonna send my dog after you. So I hope this little bit of info helps you guys out. I didn't wanna go through and just compare pet insurance to pet insurance because you can easily just pull up a comparison online and it'll give you like side-by-side -side comparisons on coverage, deductible, customer service, what they cover, what they don't cover, but I thought it'd be more important just to share my experience of not having pet insurance in the dog and not having a lot of money and having to make those tough decisions and then being broke because I didn't have pet insurance. Bruce keeps sliding, so I keep sliding. Bruce is just all over the place today. He ain't wanting to sit in one spot. He's just like, hey, let's just do the video like this, face to face. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you out. I hope you guys did all the things. Subscribe, like, ring the ding-a-lings. And Bruce Wayne and I will see you next week. Look at, he's... 
he is done with you guys. He's like, I want to go outside and play. I'm done with these guys. Man, these guys love you so much. And you're just going to snub them like that? You're not even going to say goodbye to them on the outro? He had doggy daycare yesterday, so he's extra tired. Extra tired, bro. You're extra tired. All right, guys, until next time. Peace.